Today we're going to make a mason jar tissue holder with our Cricut machine. So you'll need a wide mouth mason jar that has plain sides, some paint, some vinyl, your Cricut machine, as well as some upright tissues to put on the inside. So the first thing we're going to do is paint our jar. So I'm using a wide mouth mason jar and it's actually one that has plain sides. This is just so that we can put our vinyl on there and it won't have embossed sides at all. So I'm using a chalk paint and you can use any color you like here and we're going to give it a couple of coats. So we're going to give it one coat, we're going to allow that to dry and then we're going to give it a second coat. Be sure to coat the entire jar all the way up to the threads to have a finished appearance then allow that to dry. You could also use spray paint here or another method to paint it but I like the chalk paint for its finish as well as how fast it dries. Now, while you are waiting for your paint to dry, you can actually design whatever you would like for the front to cut out a vinyl. So I'm going to use the words, bless you, and I also have that file on the countrysheetcottage.net if you want to head there to download it. And then I just use my Cricut machine to cut it out of vinyl. So in here you can also use whatever color vinyl you like. I'm actually going to use white vinyl and just cut the words, bless you, with my Cricut. And then once those are cut, I'm just going to weed away all the excess vinyl. So weeding tools make this easy, but they are optional. And you just want to weed away all the excess away from the outside, as well as the centers of any letters from your design. Again, you can use whatever design you would like, as well as whatever color of vinyl you would like. And then I'm just going to use transfer tape to move that from its backing paper to the mason jar itself. So once everything is weeded, I'll apply the transfer tape to the front of the design and press down well. And then we will peel that backing away from the vinyl and the transfer tape. Now, my number one tip is to peel the backing away from the vinyl and the transfer tape instead of the transfer tape away trying to pick up that vinyl. It makes it a little bit easier. So once you have the... The thing completely removed, the backing paper completely removed, you can just put your words on the front of your mason jar. Because this mason jar has smooth sides, you can pick whatever side you would like. And just be sure to center it up and get the location you want before actually applying the vinyl to the front. And just press it down well and remove the transfer tape. Now, after that, we are going to add our tissues. We're going to use some upright tissues. I ordered these off Amazon, and they fit in the jar perfectly. It's what I would recommend for this project. You could definitely try a box of tissues, but you may have trouble actually getting them in the jar and getting them to come out of the jar nicely. So after we apply this vinyl... We just press it down well, and our jar is actually ready. Now we need to make a topper for the mason jar. So we want something that the tissues will come out of easily. So this is just white cardstock. And I'm just going to trace around the mason jar lid that I took off of the mason jar. And then I'm just going to cut around that with a pair of scissors. Now this is a pretty heavy duty cardstock. So you want something that's not going to rip or tear when you are taking your tissues out. And then we need to make an X cut on the inside of this cardstock circle. So I'm just using my craft knife and my self-healing mat and a ruler. And you just want to make sure not to cut all the way through. So I am not cutting all the way through to both sides. As you can see, it's still connected on both sides. But the cut itself is all the way through the cardstock. And then I'm going to make one in the opposite direction. Again, not going all the way to both sides. So now I have an X and it, the circle is still intact. So now I can put that in my mason jar lid and we're ready to assemble this holder. So here's those upright tissues I was talking about. So as you can see, they're perfect for putting inside a mason jar. And so you can just remove the whole thing, being careful not to disturb anything. And that way they'll lift out just like tissues would. And they fit perfectly inside the jar. Then just add your lid. And you can start pulling the tissues up and your mason jar tissue holder is complete. This is a great idea for using your Cricut for something around your home. It would also make a perfect Mother's Day gift. So head to thecountrysheetcottage.net for the file and y'all enjoy.